Alright, right now I'm in the process of trying to figure out how to fix Boasts and Fable and why I keep taking them all the time. So, you know what? I'm going to do a video on crafting for Elder Scrolls Online. So, right here we have a crafting station. This is the one for the Old Mary Dominion for the Ash and Grip set bonuses. Where is this one, you might ask? Well, it's here. Northern Ordon by Beacon Falls. Um, why did I pick this one? I don't know, just for the hell of it. Anyways, how crafting works in this game, you have a woodworking station, you have a clothing station, and somewhere around here, oh, eh, never mind. Yeah, somewhere around here, there is a blacksmithing station. Now, each one of these locations bestow upon you if you so choose if you go to your create first you can refine you got different types of um, scraps here that you can refine into ore ore is what you use to forge different types of equipment uh, this is for the uh, clothing right here like uh, light and medium armor to create something you just go to the creation tab right there this sense this is uh, a set location you can make equipment of a set apparel or you can just make regular apparel without the set bonuses but that's pretty dumb if you ask me but anyways this one's pretty good because it adds health damage weapon critical and it also gives you if you have five items of this of this set bonus you get fiery breath which gives a 10 percent chance to breathe fire on enemies that doesn't look that much, but then again, it is only level one, so let's bump that up to what I'm at right now. And as you see, the uh, damage is a lot better. And it would probably be augmented as well if you um, were, a, were a Dunmer, because they do a lot more damage as one of the race, racial passives. So yeah, this one's really good if you plan on being a Dragon Knight. And, uh, anyways, yeah, that's how you, cr this is basically the, the different types of things you can make. You have light armor here, and then eventually we'll get to the medium armor, and that's all clothing covers. Light armor, medium armor, um, there's obviously different materials for both. Like, if you go to light armor, they'll require you to use something like crush fiber for the, for the level I'm on. And then for, and then for medium armor, they'll want you to use like some sort of hide material. And the materials are different depending on, um, like the level. Like these top grain hides, they um, they create armors from veteran rank one to veteran rank three. And basically, when you start out, I'm not going to list all the different levels that each of these do. But just know that as you progress through the game, you'll get better and better materials to make equipment. Alright, then you have the style. When you start out the game, you automatically know how to make the style of your race. So, for example, if you start the game as a Bosmer, like me, or Wood Elf, uh, you'll automatically be able to craft Bosmer style gear. And to, to basically put that style or that trait I guess I shouldn't say trait, because trait's down here. In order to actually put that style on the armor, you need, like, a stone or something that allows you to make it in that style. I have 85 of these Bosmer bones, and they allow me to... Basically, you need one for each piece of equipment that you make. So, you need material, a certain amount, depending on... You know, if I can add a little bit more here to make the level go up, to make it slightly stronger... You need the style material, and then, optionally, you can put a trait on it. Now, these traits are learned through researching. So, we have a, a quartz here. This um, makes it so uh, it takes less durability damage, so the, uh, the equipment will basically be more sturdy. It'll Because in this game, uh, equipment, as you use it, it, it breaks down, and eventually, if you don't repair it, it'll break. So that's basically what that does. Pretty worthless, but 
you still want to research it regardless, and I'll get to that in a second. Impenetrable, that's, yeah, critical hits. So basically you have all these different traits that you can add to the armor. And this, don't get these confused with enchantments, because you can also, on top of the, the trait that the equipment has, you can also put an enchantment on it. So if you want to put, like... Um, a health enchantment, like add 300 health or something like that, for example, to this uh, chest armor right here. You can do that along with having the trait of the armor. But again, just like the style, you need materials to do this. So once you've learned, once you've researched the trait for that, for that uh, type of equipment, like uh, for example, this is a uh, chest piece of medium armor. Um, in order for me to actually use this Divine's trait, I need, I need to actually have researched this trait for chest medium armor. This doesn't apply to light armor or heavy armor, just chest medium armor. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. And uh, you can deconstruct equipment. This is uh, a way to um, get materials, break down, because if you're breaking down crap you don't need, then you can just, all this stuff I need, but if you're breaking down crap you don't need uh, and getting materials back for it, I mean, that's obviously going to help you because you'll get stuff like trait stones and style stones. And a lot of times you'll get stuff, um, you know, based on your uh, blacksmithing skill. There's uh, there's skill points you got to put in to improve the chances of getting items back when you deconstruct something. And that's just part of it. And I'll go over that after I get done with here and then you can improve the equipment so you actually start out making normal equipment and let's see here let me choose something uh, I guess I'll choose this crash whatever the hell it is and then wow I have a lot of these now <laughs> these hemming things here I can use uh, like five of these for a hundred percent chance to improve this to fine then after fine, I'm not going to do that, but once you improve, oh, actually, you know what, what the hell, why not? I'll just use this as an, as an example. But yeah, I haven't put any points into um, improvement yet, because I don't really improve my equipment past fine right now, because it's not really needed. But then I could take these crush epilots, or epilets, or however you say that, and if I want to upgrade to superior then I can use these embroideries as you can see the percentage of chance goes up there but yeah I don't want to do that I'm probably just gonna I don't know what I'm gonna do with that later <laughs> nothing probably deconstruct it most likely but yeah and then you have researching which right here it shows you all the stuff that you can research apparently I have I can research that, research that, and research that right now because I have uh, those I have those armors in my inventory with those traits ready to be researched. Although I can't research it right now because, well, I'm still waiting for something else to get done researching. And the more stuff you research, the longer it takes to do. Like the first trait that you research on, like this for example, it'll take like maybe 20 hours to do. Then the next one you do, uh, it'll be like 40 hours, and after that it'll be 80 hours. Basically it just keeps doubling each time you do it. Um, but you totally want to research as much stuff from as many types of equipment as you can, because, uh, well, I want to do it because, um, you know, I plan on making gear for my buddies. And the more traits you research for each type of gear, uh, the more options you'll have. Because uh, some of these crafting locations, they require you to have... A certain number of traits researched to to be able to actually create that set bonus like um, like for example I don't just as an example I'm not really sure if that's true for this particular station right here but let's say you know I come to the station and I haven't done any research at all well there's something going on over there okay whatever Let's say I haven't researched any traits at all at any equipment. If I come to the station right here and I click on this, and I'm thinking, yeah, I'm going to make some set armor. Uh, if I haven't researched enough traits 
for the equipment that I want to make, then I won't be able to, like this option right here for set apparel won't even be there. Like the only thing I'll be able to do is just do regular apparel. So that's why you want to research equipment if you plan on making your own. I highly recommend making your own because, I mean, you can pick and choose what you want, how you want to make your character, you know, what will be effective. Like for my character, I've got the uh, Vampire's Kiss um, set bonus here, which is great because it helps my health recovery and healing. Which I really need because I'm a vampire and vampire gets stunted health regen. And then over here I've got the uh, the Night Mother bonuses because this helps with um, with weapon critical and spell critical, which is very nice. And yes, weapons do apply to the set bonuses as well. And it doesn't matter if you have like a wooden bow and a leather medium armor it doesn't matter as long as you make them all with the same set bonus it doesn't matter if you can mix and match everything basically and the only thing in this game right now that you can't craft is jewelry they need to change that that'd be so nice if you could craft your own jewelry with your own set bonuses that'd be so great but you can't yet the only thing you can do is enchant jewelry like this necklace right here didn't have an enchantment on it, which is rare. So if you do find jewelry without an enchantment on it, keep it. Absolutely keep it. Um, and then you can add an enchantment to it, like whatever you want. Like this one, I added flame resistance because I'm weak to fire. Did the same thing with this ring that I found. And then this is another one that's, this is a ring that I just found that I use because it helps out with my stamina. So that is pretty much crafting in a nutshell. Um, did I forget to go over anything? Rough birch, yeah, whatever. Yeah, that's me refining some scraps and the actual stuff I can use. Yeah, I think I, I think I covered everything. Like uh, this, yeah, this one right here. This is this is gonna take me like 13 more days to fucking research. So yeah. As you can see, the more stuff you research, the longer it takes. This last one right here, if I do get a Nernhorn bow, oh man, that's probably that's gonna take me over a month. It's gonna take me at least a month, but oh yeah, I should probably go over crafting skills. Yeah, I'm only gonna go over blacksmithing, clothing, and woodworking because a lot of the provisioning, enchanting, and alchemy is kind of along the same lines, sort of. If you want me to do more on alchemy, enchanting, and provisioning, I can make another video later on, I guess. But yeah, I only have six right now in this one because I don't need anything higher because I'm not, I mean, my level isn't high enough. I mean, once you get to a higher level, then you're going to want to upgrade this so you can make better equipment. And yeah, I don't buy anything. I don't buy any, the only equipment I buy is with experience bonuses on it. That's it. Otherwise, I don't buy gear at all. And hell, I only I only buy the, the gear with experience bonuses so I can research them, so I can make my own later on. Metal extraction maximizes the chance of extracting blacksmith. I mean, basically, you can cursor over all these, and these will tell you what they do. It's pretty self-explanatory. But as far as researching, this one's the most important for blacksmithing because it allows you to... It, it reduces the research time and it allows you to, to research more items at one time. Because if you're only doing one one item at a time, it's going to take forever. And you get a similar one with uh, clothing. It's called stitching. I got three out of four there. And since with, with woodworking, I would only put one point into this. That way you can do two items at once. There's really no need to do more than one point. And the reason why I say this is uh, with woodworking you don't have as many things to research I mean you got shields bows and, and staves and that's it but then when you go to the other ones like uh, like clothing you got all that stuff you got light and medium armor then you go to blacksmithing and you got 
all these weapons and then all the heavy armor. So there's a lot more things to research with uh, blacksmithing and with clothing than there is with woodworking. So to do the one I or two items at a time, just put one point in carpentry. You don't really, I don't, as far as I can tell, you don't really need anything more than that. And as a matter of fact, Whoa, what the hell? Where's my mouse cursor, man? That was weird. Anyway, yeah, for, for like clothing, I would just put three points in the stitching. That way you can get three items at once, which is really helpful. And blacksmithing the same. And uh, one thing you could do if you have excess stuff like I do. I'm gonna go to Cold Harbor. This is one of my favorite areas in the game. It's awesome. Yeah, it's gonna cost me a little money to warp there, but I don't feel like traveling all the way to Way Shrine just to, just to go there for free, so whatever. I'll pay the 150 gold or whatever it is. Now, this is something you could do if you have excess stuff and you just want to make a little cash. You got to go through some uh, tutorial quests in the beginning of the game. Uh, if you're playing in the Daggerfall Covenant, obviously you'd be doing stuff like that in Daggerfall. Um, but I think you have to actually start the Fighters Guild and the Mages Guild quest line. Like, you have to actually get the quest lines before those quests will appear. And once you get certified, then you'll be able to do crafting rits, which is what I'm about to show you guys. Is it worth it to do these every day? Well, probably not. Because, uh, well, you can, you can use up your, your stuff pretty fast. I mean, I don't know. I usually can only do it, like, two days in a row, and then... And these are 24 hours. You, they basically recycle and you can do another one. So I'm going to pull that writ from the board. Get a clother writ. So they want me to make two brigandine helmets, arm cops, and bracers. Alright, easy enough. Got the blacksmithing writ. Oh, and they'll only ever ask you to make equipment based on your um, on your crafting level. Like, they'll never ask you to make equipment that's, like, beyond what you can actually create. So, make sure that if you are going to go up a level in, in crafting that you have the materials. If you plan on doing crafting writs, so you have the materials. Otherwise, you're going to have to go out and get more materials just through the crafting writ. And you can take as much time as you need to, to fulfill these. It doesn't matter if, like, you get a, crit, a writ now and then, like, three days pass and you don't complete it. You can still complete it, and then you'll be able to get another one, like, right after that. But anyways, once you do that, then, uh, yeah, I forgot what the hell. My memory sucks. So <laughs> I already forgot what the fuck I was supposed to do here. Two helms, five daggers... Two pauldrons. Let's do the daggers first. Select our materials here. As you can see, I got 248, which is plenty. And it doesn't matter what style they are, and you don't have to add a trait to them. In fact, if somebody knows, drop it in the comments section. I'm pretty sure that the traits, like if you add traits to the equipment for the crafting writs, I'm pretty sure it does not influence your crafting writ reward. So keep that in mind. I do have an add-on that lets me bulk craft, so I don't have to keep hitting the, the R button. It'll just automatically craft five for me, which is nice. Alright, so what was the next one? Two helmets. 
as you can see helmets take a little bit more uh the level doesn't matter the minimum is the minimum the, the minimum for calcinium is better than rank one so you want to try to maximize your i mean it doesn't matter if you have it all the way to rank three you can just save your your fucking uh your components all right what was the what was the pauldrons yeah okay shoulders hopefully that was the one right yeah okay cool all right then you get done with that and uh, yeah see i already forgot what the fuck yeah i've got a terrible memory awful memory helmet arm cops bracers okay two each but not least six birch bows and two birch shields I might not be able to do this one I might not have enough no I can't do this one I don't have enough I don't have enough of those so I'm gonna have to wait until I get enough but like I said before uh, if you get a a writ today you can complete it whenever you want it doesn't matter there's no time limit for these so whenever you get done with it is whenever you get done with it also if you want to um, abandon a writ like say uh, you put a point in your woodworking skill and you don't feel like uh, getting equipped or getting materials for the uh, the like lower level that you had before because you never completed it you can always abandon the uh, the quest and then get another one if you want. All you have to do to abandon a quest in this game, and this goes for any quest, is just highlight the quest, and then you'll have an option down here to abandon it. You can either highlight with your cursor and click it, or you can hit the hotkey for it. We're going to run over here. Oh, and another thing I should probably talk about. You know, sometimes they'll want you to deliver these... Um, these writs to, like, other locations. So if you're confused on where you actually have to deliver this stuff, all you have to do is highlight the quest and then hit the M key or click down here that says Show on Map. And it'll show you where you got to deliver it. In this case, I'm pretty close to it as it is, so... Place the goods with... Oh, yeah, you know what? I should probably switch. Because you do get experience for doing this. I'm going to switch to my healer gear. That way I can get experience. Place the goods within the crate. Uh, yeah, as you'll get, like, better versions of these crates as you go up, like, the next level. It'd be like seven, eight, nine, or whatever. You get some inspiration or crafting experience. You get some good amount of gold. But yeah, the crate there uh, gives you basically a random item. Same thing with the uh, clothing. We're still short on supplies, but this will help us stock up. And yeah, I couldn't do the woodworking one because I didn't have enough shit. But anyhow, once you do that, then you can open up these uh, crates and satchels here, and the rewards that are inside are random. So I'm going to open that up, and ooh, look at that. I got a tray wax, which uh, will increase the quality from epic to legendary. Very nice. And then sometimes you get surveys. These stay in your inventory, and they'll kind of... 
you know, I'll just show it off right now. Yeah, basically it gives you a point on the map where you can go to like farm for more materials. And I guess this one's like right over here, so I'll have to go searching for that later. Sometimes these maps are really hard to fucking read because they're kind of crude. So just keep that in mind. But those are nice though because you can actually farm for uh, more materials. And, uh, yeah, once you actually do find the materials, like say, uh, you know, I use this thing, I get all the materials in the area, I find all that stuff, this thing right here will automatically just disappear from your inventory. Otherwise, if you don't feel like looking for that stuff, like if you don't care about looking for more materials in an area, you can just go ahead and destroy this if you want. It's up to you. Alright, man, where's the other one at? I just, why couldn't they just keep that closer to the top? Why the hell do they have to move it? Now I gotta find the fucking thing. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why are they doing that to me? Why in the hell is this game doing that to me? Why do they have to move? What's, why is it? Oh, there it is. I was gonna say, that's really annoying. Yeah, sometimes you'll get equipment that you can deconstruct or sell for a good amount. So, uh, yeah, I think I've been blabbing on enough about crafting. So that's basically how crafting in this game and crafting writs work. I hope this was informative. I highly recommend making your own gear because it's going to be a hell of a lot better than most of the stuff you're going to find. I haven't done any dungeons yet, so I don't know what kind of drops you get in dungeons. I have heard that a lot of the stuff that drop in dungeons is better than crafted gear, but I don't know. I, I don't know how true that is, but I'd have to say that crafting gear in this game is totally worth it. If you invest the time to do it, it's, it's totally worth it. Plus... You'll be able to make great gear for your buddies if they decide to play as well. So, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Once I figure out Fable, I'll post more of that. See you later. Bye-bye.